Did New York's attorney general sue Donald Trump because he committed fraud? Obviously not. Many legal experts have been adamant he did nothing wrong. Even the banks he supposedly defrauded testified that he paid him back in full and they wanted to keep doing business with him. So why were the charges brought? Well, one theory, which my guest is going to share with us today, goes way beyond their mission to keep him out of the White House. This theory might shock you. My guest today is Ross Givens, a fellow patriot and good friend of the show. Ross is my go-to expert when it comes to following the money in D.C. He's made a name for himself by tracking the stock trades of politicians and other insiders and then sharing those tips with his readers. It's a simple strategy, but also wildly effective. In fact, he's led his members to a total gain of more than 2,000% over the last six years just by piggybacking on these insider trades, buying the same stocks they buy. In fact, he's got a free training event this Thursday where he's going to teach people how to do the exact same thing. And the coolest thing here is that Ross has found a way for regular patriots to profit from the overwhelming corruption among D.C. elites, from Nancy Pelosi's stock returns to donor kickbacks, from defense contracts. This corruption has become the norm, not the exception. And nowhere is that more true than the state of New York. Last month, a New York judge ruled against President Trump in the civil fraud case and ordered him to pay $355 million plus interest for, quote, conspiring to manipulate his net worth. Everyone, myself included, assumed Democrats just did this because they hated Trump, which, of course, they do. But Ross says there's something much deeper than that. And this is going to blow your mind. Ross, thanks for coming on, man. It's great to see you again. Hey, you too. Always a pleasure, Dr. Steve. Oh, it's always a pleasure. And I always love just chatting with you even before our interviews and just having a, it's always just great to catch up with you. Yeah. Ross, I mean, just bottom line, lay it out for us. Why did New York really bring this suit against President Trump? It's very simple. Uh, they're buying votes, right? And this has become the go-to strategy of the Democrats for decades. Promise people free stuff if they vote for you. And it started out with welfare and food stamps and other benefits, right? Once you've, you, you've got these people living off the government dime, they have to vote Democrat to keep the money sure. coming. And then we yeah. got you know, this affirmative action, which I believe was probably even well-intentioned, but of course today has morphed into this disgusting system of DEI, where employees are hired and promoted based on their race, their sexual identity, all the things law specifically forbid. That's true. Uh, and it's even when they're the less qualified candidate. So I mean, sure, if you're a you know blue-haired, trigender socialist who identifies as a, as a St. Bernard, yeah, <laughs> Democrats are not only going to make you feel normal, but they will infiltrate the economic system and force your advancement. Wow. You yeah. know, Biden, he's tried everything to cancel student loan debt. Why? Because yeah. he has the lowest approval rating yeah. since Jimmy Carter, right? Yeah. I had student loans. They sucked. Yeah. I paid them off. Me but too. if someone offers to make your debt go away— when you're broke and you're struggling, a lot of people are going to vote for that person, right? Yeah. I mean, obviously, people are always going to vote for their own interests, uh, for the person they believe will make their life better. Exactly. So, um, but, but I'm curious. So how does this relate specifically oh. to New York? Sorry, I got off track. Okay, right. So New York City's mayor, uh, Mayor Adams, he has said, and I quote, New York City is a union town. Right. Now, is this because he believes in the collective bargaining power of unions? Adams is a reformed thug. I don't know how much you know about this guy. He was in a gang as a teenager. Or he used to hold money. He ran errands for a prostitute. When she wouldn't pay him, he stole his TV, right? He is not a champion of the working man. But he is pro-union because unions overwhelmingly vote Democrat. So it is in his interest to fund these unions because he mm. needs their votes. Mm. Now, here's how he does this. Here's the part nobody realizes. There's something known as union-administered benefit funds. So these pay health benefits, legal benefits, education, even, even supplemental retiree pension income. And those are funded by the New York City taxpayer. So the city, through tax dollars, contributes more than a billion dollars a year to fund these things. I just want to make sure we get the buried lead there. D did you just say, in effect, that taxpayers pay for these unions? I, I thought they were always operate off union dues from the members. Yeah, that's what most people think. And, and it's it's tricky because what the union dues do, that pays the salaries of these union leaders, the staff, you're the ones who are doing the lobbying and negotiating contracts. 
but most of the benefits that are paid out to members come from these union administered uh, funds. It's all in the name. The union wow. administers the money. But yes, Dr. Steve, it comes from the city, from the taxpayers, wow. even though most New Yorkers are not in these unions. Right. Of course so, not. Yeah, right. New York is not doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. Okay. <laughs> they are buying votes. And honestly, it's hard to even blame union members. Sure. I mean, imagine you're a blue collar worker making a middle class income. You're struggling to get by in New York. Some guy's running for office. He says, Hey, vote for me. You'll get cheaper health insurance. You'll get free education. You get a yep. better retirement. Yep. Sure. Like you said, people, they're going to vote for him, regardless of whether they agree with his views on immigration or abortion or anything else. They are voting for it to improve their lives. So in summary, here's what's happened. These scumbags on the taxpayer's dime, mind you, built a rigged, bogus civil case against Trump. They tried in a kangaroo court with no jury, right. an anti-Trump judge. Shocker. He rules for a $450 million judgment when you include the interest. And then they're going to take those dollars to give free stuff to union members who are then going to vote Democrat in the next election. <laughs> you know, it's it's just so I'm laughing because it's like, you know, you're like a broken record. I, I don't think you've ever been on this channel <laughs> exposing corruption without telling us this this lovely refrain. Follow the money. If you're a musician, yeah. you're going to have to write a song called follow the money. Follow the once money. again, here it is. So I could see why you do well uh, picking uh, stocks this way. And oh, and, you know, I meant to, I meant to um, say something that reminds me. You were on the show back in January talking about these politicians and how to, how to follow these stock trades, and you gave our viewers a stock to buy. Uh, and hmm. I think you, uh, they got it free when they registered for your. Yeah. Training. Yeah. Uh, CADEX, I think, well, perspective therapeutics is the name of the company, but right. The ticker was, was uh, CADEX. C -A -T -X. Yeah. Ca yeah. CADEX. Did you, uh, well, obviously I'm sure you're, you're tracking with this thing. This thing's up 180% since you told us about us, told it to us about it six weeks ago. Yeah. I told you it works. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. Uh, and by the yeah. way, folks, ga gang, Ross is holding another free training event this Thursday, just like when he originally told us about CADEX. This one's on March 28th, 3 p.m. Eastern. If you haven't been one of these, they're amazing. They're so popular. I mean, you really owe it to yourself to attend. It's online, completely free. And L Ross lays out the entire methodology, how to see what stocks politicians and others are buying in real time, what to look for, everything. Be sure to click on the link below of this video to register. We've gotten so much tremendous feedback from Trolley Talkers about how these free trainings have changed your lives. So uh, thank you, Ross, for continuing to share your work with our Oh, absolutely. Here. And listen, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm proud of you for following that stock. I know you get the recommendations, but yeah, I was, wasn't going to mention it that the one we give away, um, yeah, 180%. 180% return, great. man. Yeah. Um, and, and by the way, just for everybody, I know you mentioned registering for the new training event. Uh, we're going to send out our latest pick again as well for anyone who registers. So that's the full research, our whole report. So even if you cannot attend live, I mean, it's online, it's free, yeah. but even if you cannot attend, I would encourage people to sign up because uh, we send that report to you immediately over email. Uh, and, and this is another small biotech company. got a lot of growth. I think it could do even better than the last one. Wow. Uh, well, that'd be amazing. I, I just think it's really interesting to have this paradigm, this very, very simple paradigm. And that's what I think what you do is so wonderful. It's so simple and yet so profound. It's just when you start looking at things in terms of follow the money, uh, and and policies designed to buy uh, votes. I mean, obviously, this is what we're seeing with this with this mass illegal immigration. You and I were talking about this before our interview yeah. here. It's just so painfully, pathetically obvious. Democrats are quite literally importing voters to keep them into office. Yeah, I mean, Biden's slipping them in overnight on airplanes. Yeah, exactly, right? exactly, uh, bypassing yeah. the border. Quite literally, yeah. Yeah. And what we were talking about before the, before we started here, I mean, in New York, I, I cannot believe this is happening. They're giving $10,000 a piece, right? <laughs> right. 10, I mean, $10 from the taxpayers, $10,000 of someone else's labor they take and they give it to people who broke the law to get there. I, I don't see how anyone yeah, with half a brain can see this as anything uh, but buying votes. So, you know, you look at it in those terms. Well, how far fetched is it? They take right. 450 million from Trump, someone they despise, and then use it for the same thing. And, and, and I didn't want to go too far, but but really, if you if you look at this in those terms, you can trace this all the way back to Roosevelt. 
in the 1930s with the introduction of Social Security. I know it's a touchy mm. subject these years, but Democrats love having a population that depends on them for something like Social Security because then it lets them weaponize it Correct. and create this false narrative of Republicans want to cut your Social Security. It's total BS. Social Security is not running out of money, like politicians claim. It never had money. It has been a Ponzi mm. scheme since day one. The mm. first recipient of Social Security in this country was a woman named Ida Mae Fuller. Are you ready for this? She contributed a total of $24.75 into the system. Three years later, she retired, collected benefits of $22,888. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's hardly typical, that's for sure. I mean, so generally, I, when I think of Social Security, I always think it's the worst investment you can make. I mean, if people just put their money over the course of their lifetime the, that they would normally, uh, that, that have they have taken away from them for Social Security benefits, that they just put it away in the stock market. I mean, they would have made five times as much in retirement. Oh. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, the system benefits no one, it seems. No, like. well, well, I mean, it benefited Ida May. Yeah, there right? you go. She, she, got a, she got a 92,000% return on her money. <laughs> right. uh, but look, all they did was rob the next guy yeah, to right. pay her. It is, right. it is, I don't care what anyone said, it is the largest Ponzi scheme in the history of the world, and this entire thing was orchestrated and run by the Democratic Party. Yeah, dang, Ross. Dang, man. That certainly puts things in perspective, eye-opening uh, perspective for sure. Uh, listen, I appreciate you being on here and sharing all this with our viewers. I'm looking sure. forward to our free training event this Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern. Just click on the link below uh, to register again, gang. Uh, this is amazing stuff. It's 100% free, and Ross is going to send you his latest stock pick, along with all the insider research to everyone who registers, whether you attend or not. So I encourage you, whatever you do, to do that now. Make sure you sign up. The event will be this Thursday, March 28th, 3 p.m. Eastern. It's online. Anyone can attend. Click on that link below to register. You're going to be absolutely blown away at the information that Ross shares. Uh, Ross, amazing stuff is, oh, follow the money. I think we're going to, maybe money. that's going to be your license plate. Follow the money. <laughs> that's, thanks for coming on, my it. friend. It's always a pleasure. All right. Same to you, Dr. Steve. Keep it up.